really hope those aren't rain clouds up there. Varby snow on the trash can this morning, me hearties. There's poisonous peligros in the water, so don't drink it and don't play in it. They look a lot like this, green and slimy. Those are definitely mountain lion tracks. All right, here we go. I wanted nature. I got it. Oh, it's beautiful. Little baby hail. But that means I'm the only one out here. Listen to the silence. Now I just have to not die. Getting back to the car, wherever it is. Or I could live here. I wonder if Home Depot delivers to this zip code. This thing needs a little fixing up. Onward. So that was Kolob Canyon, a relatively unvisited side of Zion, and you got to drive another 45 minutes to get to the main tourist trap edge of Zion. And when you get there, you can ride a bike through the park, and I think that's the best way to see it. Uh, if you are at all weak, you probably want to get an e-bike. It's uphill going out and then downhill coming back but it's beautiful, awesome views, and you really get to see all of the nature when you're riding a bike versus in a tram. They don't let cars in there anymore, so those are your options. How did the turkey cross the road? Watch out for turkeys. They're not real smart. All right, go turkey, go turkey, go. Go turkey, go turkey, go. Go turkey, go turkey, go. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Almost there. Use your neck, use your neck, use your neck. There we go. There's parking for miles in the town coming up to the gate of Zion, but it's all uphill. So if you're bringing a regular bike, you want to park as close as possible. I just pointed to the entrance to the park there. So it cost me $25 to park in this lot. I think it gets a little cheaper as you get further away.